Hi, uh, David Phillips here. Um, I've been asked by a few people, not too many, but a few to uh, if I could do some tabs for a song of mine, a sailor's song. Now, I'm not very good at tabs. Um, I'm not very good at writing. I don't really, I can't write music or tabs and stuff like that. And so I thought the best thing to do would be a video. Um, to show you kind of the basics of the song. I'm not going to go into too much detail because that would get very boring. But just the, the basics so you can get going and uh, and learn the song. Um, so, first things first uh, is the, the tuning. I'm totally unprepared for this by the way. I'll just, uh, just press play and realise that I haven't really prepared apart from I've tuned my guitar. That's all I've done. <laughs> and you'll also hear in the background all the way through this video some kind of rustling sound which is plastic covering all of my windows at the back there so so enjoy that a bit of percussive plastic sound for you so the tune in uh, for this song Sailor's Song is it's like a, a normal kind of a, a classic open D um, tuning except the E string isn't tuned, the low E isn't tuned down to D, it stays in E. So what you have essentially is E, A, D, F sharp, A, and D. That's the tuning for this song. Pretty simple. So just imagine you tune down to like open D. What I usually do is just tune the guitar down to open D, then tune the low E back up to E again. Okay, second thing um, that's kind of important about this song is the, the right hand technique, um, which is a kind of a bluesy picking, finger picking thing where the, the thumb is kind of hammering out the, the bass line constantly through the whole song on the, on the low E string and the low E string. So um, what's happening is, I'll just play it a little bit for you, so you've got it So you, um, it's a technique you have to kind of get a bit of independence between your thumb and and the rest of your hand. Um, so if you uh, if you don't have that down, you need to practice that a little bit. And if you do, then, then that's cool. Um, I'll do a close up actually of that. Like I said, unprepared. I'll do a close up. Let's go to close up now. Okay, right hand close up. Um, so you've got the thumb. Always, it's constantly through the whole song, either on the E string or the A string. And so that's going. And then you've got the two, I only use these two fingers, um, just how I learned. I mean, a lot of people have uh, all four, which is, which is much better. I have half, um, but I get by. alternating between the, the E string and, and the A string for the thumb there. play it the same every time anyway, so I mean... That's what's happening with the left hand pretty much. Thing. 
I think the, the drum pattern on this goes something like that. I can't remember, but it's, it's similar to that. So the left hand is is keeping that rhythm going constantly. Okay, I hope that helps a little bit more. See it close up. Um, all right, so left hand. What you need for left hand is um, the basically the song is kind of in two two parts. Uh, it's kind of it's a verse, what I would call a verse, and then and then like a bridge part. There's no chorus, which I would probably get shot um, in songwriting circles for not having a chorus in my song. Uh, if you want to make money with your songs, they have to have catchy choruses. So this is a, a how not to write a song video too. <laughs> so, so the verse chords, um, I don't know what these chords are, I have no idea because I'm in this tuning and I really don't know what, what they're called. Um, so I'm just going to show it. Basically the first chord is like a normal, what you, normal E shape. So you've got, like as if you were in normal tuning or like a normal E chord. But in this tuning you have that nice, that nice kind of open sound. So you have that position, and then I use a lot in this song this position, which is basically you don't play the low E string, and you've got um, at the moment you've got um, so you've got this on the fourth fret, open, open, four, and I move that around. Try to do that a lot so doing a lot of pull-ons, hammer uh, pull-offs and hammer-ons and stuff like that. See that on the second string there? sliding around with this position, which is basically here while I'm playing with my left hand is the, um, the the A string there and these two here. I'm not playing any of the rest. happening there basically for the for the verse. Um, I'll do a close up again so you can see that my left hand close up on that. Go. Alright, left hand close up. Uh, so yeah you've got that E shape there. What would be like a normal E chord if you were tuned to normal tuning. So what's happening here is you're getting like a hammer on here on the second second fret with the little finger. We're sliding up to the seventh fret. That chord here, you see that? So it's just, it's just these two strings being fretted. Second string and the A string there. And what you're getting there then is this hammer on here on the A string. fret, but on the fourth fret here. Got this little pull off, and this hammer on here. And then we're back down to the E shape. positions for the intro too. So you got fourth, seventh, ninth, eleventh fret. Playing a lot of playing around a 
lot with. Hammer-ons and pull-offs, you can make your own up as well, and you have to play exactly the same as me. I never played the same twice anyway, I don't think. Yeah, that's your left hand. A bit more close up. Let's go back to normal shots. Ow, go! Alright, so hopefully you saw that a bit better, close up there. Um, so combine all this and what you have is the verse, which is basically that. You're sliding up to what is the seventh fret. Doing this little hammer on here on the A string. I think the best thing to do is kind of take little parts of it and learn them kind of individually, I think maybe. Different, um, so you've got like what, what I what, what is would normally be like a like a C shape, like a C chord. So here you've got you're not playing the low E, and then you're playing fifth fret, the fourth fret, the third fret, and then these two open. And what you're doing, what I'm doing there is um, with these two these two fingers here. I'm doing this. Let's back to that E shape. Tom is always hitting that low A string there. those three strings. That's the first part of the bridge. Um, that's, the, that's the major part of the bridge actually, the major part. That's the mayoría, that's the Spanish sneak in there. Uh, so it goes, yeah. In the still quiet calm of land Reveals the trembling on my hands The wildest constant fall and climb Those two chords at the end, which is very similar to the. You see, remember that position from the from the verse, but you're hitting, you're fretting the low E string there on the fourth fret. So you've got fourth fret, 
open, 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 fourth fret there. But all I'm playing really is the, the low E string, and then these two here, these the second and third string. I think. Let me do that again. And then we're sliding that up, same position, up to the seventh fret. Rhythm, I don't even know what you call that, but it's always like that kind of vibe. I don't know what that is at all. So you're doing that with your two fingers here. Never stops, that's the whole song, the film is doing this. I did two gigs last night, so I'm a bit croaky. Um, that's pretty. That's the song. That's it. Um, I really am a crappy teacher. I, I, I really am bad at teaching. But, uh, but I, I, I kind of. That's all I can cover really. My suggestion would be to take little parts of it and just practice little parts. If you, I mean, I mean, some of you will just get it easy. You know? It's not that hard. But if you are struggling with it, maybe take a little chunk of it. So just take... Or if, or if, if, it's, if you want to take it even more basic, just practice the thumb. Because the important part is having that thumb. Just oof, oof, the whole way through. It's either on the E string or the A string. That's the Sailor's song. Um, if you, if there's anything else you want to know that I haven't covered, then leave a little message or something, and I'll see if I can help you out with it. Um, but that's pretty much the basics of the song. And yeah, I um, hope it helps. And if you do your own version of it, let me see it. It'd be nice to hear it. Okay, thank you. Cheers. <laughs>